Hello Internet and welcome back to my Sky Island playthrough of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. On the last episode we continued our expedition. We were heading away from a mansion and headed back to a dairy farm we visited previously. We were interested in the gun safe and when we finally cut it open with our acetylene torch a bunch of the ammo was cooking off which is not ideal. However we did find I believe it was a Ruger 22 caliber rifle. I'm not actually looking at that so I'm not sure. As well as assorted ammunition I think we found about four. 40 rounds, something like that. We then headed to another nearby dairy farm, expecting it to also have a gun safe, which it did, so we looted that as well. This time we found a 5.56 handgun, which is really valuable because one, it's more powerful than our 9mm, and two, because it came with a bunch of ammunition. And that 5.56, I believe, can be used in our 223 rifle if we're so inclined to do that. After that, we decided maybe we shouldn't extract just yet, so we went to a nearby dump site just to check things out. Never really been to one of these before. And there we picked a few books up out of the rubble, but we didn't really want to deal with enemies and we were pretty full up so we just sort of left. After that we extracted and now we're back at base. So everyone, welcome back to the series. This is going to be an episode, I think, where we just sift through our crap and start moving some of it downstairs. This is the sort of stuff that's not particularly exciting to watch, but I'm hoping we can turn that into some uh, dialogue or commentary or something. So let's drop our pistol. Let's drop our worn rifle here that we're probably not really going to use. We will drop the magazine, drop a bunch of the ammo, and we're going to drop most things. So if we just hit tab select here and select select everything that's not favorited I think should be okay. I can't really think of anything we picked up that we have to keep on our person for the time being. The wind is very strong. You should find some more wind resistant clothing for your right arm. No, I think we're okay. So we're going to drop this stuff and have a look. Anything else that I put on that we don't really want to have on our person? No, everything looks okay. So where do we even begin sorting our base here? Um, I guess we check. We know we didn't uh, get any new upgrade stuff so we're not really worried about that. I do think since we have a couple warp shards we might set up one of the infinity items while we're puttering around but what should be our first priority? Let's sort uh, our loot which is not fun but let's do it. Okay so if we're gonna keep the bedroom in this section so again the reason we're doing this in this particular room there are two tiles that are occupied by things that can't be used for anything else. So we have the ramp here which is our up and down stairs and we have this statue for going on an expedition. Now because of that, we that's two tiles that we can't use in this room for storage or a workspace or whatever. So I think this will become our bedroom and then we're going to move the work uh, bench here or the table, whatever it is, up to this room and then just sort of surround it with loot and probably we should bring the brazier as well, although that's much, you know, it's a very easy thing to move as we need it uh, in case we wanted to read in bed or something like that. I don't know if reading in bed counts as a comfy tile or not. Not. And then since we're just getting started, I think we should only prioritize a few really valuable item spaces. So like we should have, maybe we don't need a food tile right now. Maybe we don't need a drink tile right now, or even we could put those in the bedroom because they're less, um, like we're not going to be very likely to be crafting food items. So I'm not super concerned about that. Or we could just pick up the materials we wanted to cook. The wind blew my door open. That would startled the crap out of me. Oh, it's because my family came in the front door and it blew open. Okay, so I think that uh, food and drink is not like a huge priority in that room. What I think we should focus on is like crafting materials. That way they're nearby as we want to craft things. So yeah, I guess is what we'll do for now so so let's let's start dragging things so what is on this tile a couple batteries not concerning let's haul those out of there oh and at some point we're gonna have to bring a big unsorted tile down here what we could do is make some of the extra tiles just unsorted tiles as well and then oh but it would be it would take longer to haul well no it wouldn't because we would still have to haul all that stuff down there anyway and then we could just auto sort and the tiles that we have up here could be auto sorted into i think is a way to do that but let's move this table for now there's stuff in the way yes well i want to move it this way okay we can't so let's do it this way move this up take the table up here we'll just put that in the center of the room for now that way it's accessible from every tile and currently we have natural light but we will need light in the future so let's grab the brazier as well take down the brazier carry the brazier and we'll just deploy that here on one side 
so that we have a light source up here and we can move this as often as necessary like if we want to read in bed like i said and then obviously a book tile is like hugely important so let's uh start making tiles here zone managers why is this blinking on my screen if there are no zones let's go up and see what this is why it says start point it doesn't say anything did i make this previously and not type in a title okay it doesn't matter let's head down here and let's uh let's make a book tile so we'll make a tile for books yeah so maybe this i i think most people who watch this show are like super well versed in the game i think at this point because most of the new like viewers and stuff have already sort of filtered out of this series but i want to talk about the zone manager tool for a moment this is one of the things i get the most comments about it's the capital y key by default i believe and it's this menu that you see on the right side of the screen this is one of the most valuable quality of life upgrades this game has ever had in the six seven you know maybe even eight years that i've been playing now and every time i use it in any video i get comments that say like from just random people who are like man that zone manager tool looks pretty valuable i guess i should learn to use that at some point because people don't use it because it seems complicated but really it's an incredible tool that you should be using so the way this works we're going to add a zone here and we're going to scroll down to books and what this does is create a loot zone for books i'm just going to explain it because like what else am i going to talk about while we do this anyway we want books near our stuff because we're going to be obviously crafting using those recipes but they are like in the small proximity of this room it doesn't matter they can be anywhere so we'll put them not near the fire just to avoid me accidentally bumping them into the fire or something so we'll make a tile over there for books what else do we need near our fire um for crafting purposes so i guess we'll make a spare parts zone not a lot of stuff is marked as spare parts like it should be so sometimes that's a bit of a of a problem but let's put our spare parts here and then we need a lumber zone as well for the wood that we're going to be using in the brazier so we'll make a tile for the loot of wood and we'll mark that near the fire there i guess we could put things over the doors as well if we really needed a ton of space after that we need a tools pile for sure so we will make a tools pile same thing don't really want it like super next to the fire in case i bump into something and drop it in the fire and then i suppose we can just expand this as necessary magazines is for gun magazines magazines manuals is actually considered separate from books so we will also make a manuals tile which would be up here on the books tile i believe is where that was and then everything else i think for now is okay and i don't think we have to worry about much else exactly at this moment i'm sure if we discover we're missing something we can we can do that so let's uh, we're going to hit escape, which will let us save our zones. And then in order for this to work, you have to mark an unsorted zone. So up until now, all we've done is tell the game, hey, here's where I want stuff. But now we have to tell it, here's where I want you to take the stuff from. So we'll go to the unsorted zone. And for now, we'll just put it on this book tile here to sort those particular books. And then if I hit O, it will bring up the option to loot, uh, basically sort out all of these loot zones. So if I hit static zones, they should move every book that was on that tile up here onto our books pile. And that's basically how the zone manager tool works. And it's a fantastic resource. There's all kinds of stuff. You can set up uh, custom zones using like a, a like not a script, but like, a, uh, I don't even know what to call it. If we hit custom here, it gives you the details on how to set this up and some of the commands that you can use which is pretty great uh, because I believe batteries for example are referenced as spare parts but then sometimes you want them in your recharger instead where you know it doesn't make sense apparently they're listed as tool magazines which is not how it used to be so I'll have to get used to that as well but uh, so we'll probably want a battery pile as well but for now if we go upstairs and we set this stuff as unsorted I don't think it will work and I'm afraid to delete this random zone because I don't know if this is somehow connected to Sky Island so we're gonna leave that zone in intact we're going to make another unsorted zone and i'm not sure this will work because of the change in z level but if we mark all of this as unsorted and we try to sort the loot will it work i'm curious sort out my loot it appears to be working it's taking forever presumably because we have to walk really far so if we get into any like discomfort or anything handful of leaves let's stop i want to make sure this is all working correctly so let's head up here it is so it's depositing our wood where we want it it's well we have a lot of we have a lot of splintered wood and stuff i didn't realize we picked up as much as we did it's sorting our tools it's sorting our whatever this uh, spare parts pile i guess is what this is and i didn't think it would take quite this long but i guess every single item we're walking like down here 
walking back up to get the next thing, I guess is how that works. So we'll just keep sorting. This is probably gonna, the sun might even go down in the time it takes us to do this. I don't know. Sorted out every possible item. Okay, so let's have a look at what's left here just to get an idea. Yeah, we don't have a medical tile. We don't have a food tile or a weapons tile or ammo tile. I don't think any of that's a concern right now. Obviously food and stuff we do want eventually to be down there so we could cook if we were, you know, wanting to cook. But for now I have no idea what we've eaten today. So let's take a multivitamin at the very least. Let's uh, grab a multivitamin there to get a little bit of nutrition uh, or not. Is nutrition the right word there? Obviously vitamins is what we're after there. And then let's just have a look at what's getting old so we can eat that. Chocolate pudding, are you unhealthy? healthy. You are not. 300 calories though is an awful lot of calories. Uh, although I suppose we want calories. Although we didn't do much today. We were just sort of, uh, we weren't in combat all that much on our expeditions today. But the meat pies, we have a few days on those. These are already old. Let's eat the au gratin potatoes, I guess. Do you have vitamins in you? A little bit of vitamin C. We have all this old butter we're pre probably never going to use. Probably is the word I was trying to pronounce there. We'll eat the al gratin potatoes. I think we've eaten a fair bit today, but I guess we'll eat the pudding. Like no vitamins, but it's like not bad for you. So we'll eat that for a little mood boost. Maybe get that focus up a little bit since we want to try to craft some stuff. And then other than that, I just not really too interested in eating, I guess. And these are from the MREs, I suppose. But all right, let's go down here. And what do we want to craft? There was some item I was going to craft, but we delayed it because we didn't want to do it while we were trying to go on an expedition. It was one of the upgrades. The Alpha Secure Container, I'm still not very interested in this because I don't really plan to die. I know that that's like a, a, maybe a dumb thing to say, but the idea of the Sky Island, most people, like I think even the creator has said, like I play with the No Hope mod, I play with very low item spawns and etc, etc. So for those people, obviously they make their game much more difficult and having a permanent storage container that they could take stuff with them on every single death is like a much bigger deal. For me, I actually don't enjoy the game being overly challenging i really just like to vibe and and just play and have a good time so i don't use the no hope mod i actually think that's like a terrible mod personally i don't i don't understand the appeal of that i don't enjoy but that's like again nothing wrong with it it's just that i don't enjoy playing that way same with the item spawns people keep telling me in comments like hey you should turn down the item spawns to like a tenth of what they're supposed to be but i just don't enjoy i don't enjoy doing that i don't enjoy looting a whole house and finding like an apple and then just leaving and being annoyed you know Know. That's how the game was when I first started playing like like many years ago and I hate that. So I think for other people the alpha container would be a much bigger deal but for us I just uh, you know, like Sky Island's not permadeath. Every time you die, you go back to the island. But I don't really plan or expect to die in the near future. I'm a very careful player for the most part, and so I don't think it's like a huge priority. Basement locator, we're missing a lot of this stuff. We need the fursuits, we need um, uh, body pillows, we need RPG die, we don't have any of that stuff. Chest set, we need all of that. Escape charm, uh, rollerblades, we don't have. Windbreaker, we might. Crowbar, we don't have. Bikinis, we do. Hollow carver, this is the next upgrade that requires a shovel. Every Everything else we could pretty easily obtain just by making a point to do it. But we do need a drilling uh, tool quality of one, which I think is something we should be crafting here in the near future. So I'll try to remember that. Landing pad, we have pillows, sheets, uh, glass shards. I think we have everything but the decorative plant seeds, which I, you know, I don't know where you even get those. But it uh, basically, I believe this upgrade just makes it so that you uh, have a larger vision radius when you come down to the ground level. Oh, actually, I don't know what this one does. I'm not sure what that does. The Order's Blade, this is the uh, two missions per expedition, but we don't have any of these gemstones. It's the scouting lens that we actually have everything for. This is the one, I think, that expands your vision radius when you land on the Earth side of when you leave Sky Island on an expedition. So we should craft this one because why not? Then we can get another like next tier of upgrades, so we should do that. Vengeance of the item, we don't have the carcasses required for that. We'll do this eventually, I don't now. And then the warped tincture, we don't have a bunch of this medicine, so we can't do that either. The warped trees, which I believe come under tools, uh, the infinity, or not warped trees, but the infinity trees, the infinity stones, all we need for that are warp shards. We have all the materials otherwise for all of these things. Actually, apparently we don't have soil, but we could easily obtain soil on a trip with like, no problem at all. So... 
I, I don't know which of those we'll craft. And then the gear, we don't actually want any of that gear. And then these items are consumables. These are things that let us like, for instance, take the entire room worth of loot back with us. I think those are better saved for longer expeditions. So in the future, when we unlock like an eight hour expedition, we could fill the room with a ton of crap and then just craft one of these transport full room items, which will let us very easily, um, you know, zap back to the island with a ton of stuff, I think. And we really need to be making it a priority to clear out those missions to get extra warp shards because those seem to be the limiting factor on a lot of this stuff. And then all the materials, we would just, you know, use the material tokens as necessary when we find like, oh, we need two frames, but I really don't want to sit and spend, you know, an hour and a half taking it apart frames and blah 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 okay so our focus has recovered slightly so i think uh just the time spent there has allowed our focus to recover why don't we craft why don't we see what we can craft with a drilling quality so if we go here we hit uh it's q colon drill we can make a bow fire drill which has a uh, rock drill rock drilling quality we have a makeshift hand drill which is drilling one which is what we need and we have all the materials for that although we have to sacrifice a screwdriver actually we can just use a nail apparently primitive rock drill is rock drilling and then a pump fire drill what is this it requires a tool with drilling quality to make the item with drilling quality. Simple item for starting fires by friction between a notched plank and a wooden shaft with a flywheel attached. Shaft is spun rapidly with a pumping motion by a cord wrapped around it. Sure, we've all seen this on, uh, if you've ever watched survival shows, which I'm pretty sure most of us <laughs> who are playing this game have probably seen a few survival shows. All right, um, so let's craft. What did we need? I'm sorry, I'm, I already have forgotten. Quality drill. So to make the makeshift hand drill, we already have all the materials nearby so let's just craft this this takes an hour and five minutes that is quite a time investment but again this is something we need for an upgrade and it's just good to have drilling quality in general because we know we don't because we know that we transported all of our tools down here in the last like using the zone manager tool and we know we just looked at the recipe and that's one of the things we absolutely are missing so i think we will craft this it is fab two so this should level our fab to three probably by the time we finish it crafting is slow due to hand encumbrance yes someone mentioned this on discord and i keep forgetting about it so let's remove our leather gloves which should reduce that hand encumbrance We're looking for drill makeshift hand drill crafting yeah so we no longer have that crafting penalty up there focus is 48 maybe we should do something to improve our focus that way we're more guaranteed to get fab three so let's head up and let's have a beverage or something that has a high morale can you sort this if we change the categories we're gonna look for beverages nope food so no drinks on this pile maybe or maybe I'm too far away or actually I think we dropped a lot of drinks so I was looking for like liquor like maybe a beer or something in the game here would give us a nice boost but I doubt we actually brought any booze with us because we were prioritizing like real food because we were trying to like make good decisions uh, for our character's health and stuff yeah and it is just listed under food I thought it would have its own uh, own segment but apparently not so none of these are going to have like a huge morale buff it's mostly going to be junk food that's going to have it I really don't want Ooh, who thinks cheese spread is a plus six morale what is wrong with you well i guess i live in america so half the time when people in america say cheese spread they mean that disgusting like squirt can cheese is just so gross but anyway this probably means like a proper like cheese board or something i don't want to eat junk food though the cheese spread is not junk food so we'll eat that and then anything i mean a minus one is still that's quench oh i'm looking at the quench column instead of the health column my mistake okay so then let's eat a cookie because it doesn't seem to have a health penalty uh, i know we have weed but i don't really want to smoke weed just to to do this one particular thing if we have a look at our morale it's currently plus 10 which is actually not that great uh, um so let's uh see if we can find any beverage with a plus because i don't want to keep eating calories i would like to drink something that gives a boost instead Sports drink is only plus one. We're not obviously drinking forest honey. That's ridiculous. Although it's pretty low in calories. American pale ale. So we do have a beer, but it's uh, a minus health penalty. But plus 14 is, is more than what we currently have total. So let's uh, have a pale ale here. 
and then uh, I see a plus 10 on fruit jam. Sure, we can have a spot of fruit jam. Probably not. Again, none of these really have the health penalty. I thought more of this sugary crap had uh, big health penalties, but apparently not. And we'll eat a toast them. We ate a lot today, I think. But anyway, that should increase our focus slightly as we go here. If we have a look again at our morale, it's now plus 28, which is pretty, pretty substantial. So yeah, it, you know, it goes away quickly. And the fact that we're going to be crafting means it's going to be draining, but you know, it, it will kind of balance out. It'll basically, instead of dropping instantly, it will now drop a little slower towards uh, being unhappy with the crafting. So let's make this drill. Makeshift hand drill, let's do it. Use a nail, use a, I don't care. I guess a plank, because we have 63 of them. Actually use the splintered wood, because they're, they're less valuable. All right, so it should take about an hour here. So we now have a drill, fantastic. Uh, we're still missing whatever that other item was. You can craft, uh, you put the makeshift drill on the table, you craft it from memory. So we'll drop that on our tool pile. So we now have a drilling quality tool. That is something I wanted to get out of the way. Night has fallen, it's now 1956. I mean, we still have time to work before we have to go to bed here. And we know we have that lantern actually, now that I think about it, we have a good lantern over here somewhere. Lantern, anywhere? No, lantern? maybe got moved to the tool pile lantern sure did uh, i don't remember how much of this we actually used but we'll use this as a light source for now to avoid using the brazier using all of our wood uh and did we raise to fab three i didn't even look it said it was fab two right which means it could take us all the way to fab three if we were uh particularly focused which we weren't our focus is currently 15 always exciting let's have a look at fab no we're 92 percent of the way to fab three unfortunately fab three is a requirement if i recall correctly that's what we were looking for to get the battery charger up and running so if we look for well, that's right, you need electronics for the batteries themselves, which is a, a bit of a problem. Oh, it's only Fab 1 for a battery charger. Yeah, we should work to get our base powered here. Oh, no, it was the solar panels that required a higher fabrication. Nope, still Fab 1. Okay, so I'm just dumb and don't remember things. Now, we do have a solar panel. In fact, why don't we set that stuff up? Although bridging all the way through this hallway with power might be an issue. We do, you can set up wiring on walls manually, but it requires a lot of duct tape, which we don't have. We only have about a hundred and like eight duct tape left, if I remember correctly. It's not a rare material. We definitely can find more of it in large amounts in houses, but given the nature of like how the Sky Island is going and, and the difficulty we have looting houses in very occupied, you know, zombie dense towns is, has been pretty difficult for us, but uh, we could string wire along this wall. I believe we have like one jumper cable. I, I think we have probably one extension cord. Yeah, we have one extension cord. I'm not sure what the range is on that. Along 30 foot, so that's like five or six tiles, if even that. Cable length, 10. Okay, so it's 10 tiles. Tiles in this game, we have a variable length uh, tile system. It doesn't matter. We don't have to talk about it, but. So 10 tiles would be enough to bridge all the way through here. And we would use the jumper cable to connect to a solar panel like right here and then go downstairs and connect into the system downstairs. Why don't we, we have the lantern. Let's uh, see about setting up that solar panel. Place solar panel. Uh, I did not look at how long it takes, but we'll just do this here place the solar panel. So that will generate power, but because we don't have the electronic skill, we can't set up a battery. We do have storage batteries. We brought the medium back, and I believe there's a small one around here somewhere. It might've got shuffled downstairs somewhere, but I thought we had brought a medium as a larger version, and then we had like two of the small ones, I thought, but maybe I'm misremembering. But anyway, a medium storage battery, you require a battery in this system. So we can't just take the solar panel, hook it into the base and have lights downstairs. It actually requires a battery in the system somewhere to be functional. Um, so we could string the solar panel directly downstairs into like a battery right here and then have that run up to the lights and stuff that we wanna install in our base. Uh, someone did tell me to bring back a fridge by the way, uh, cause again, fridge is like the meta, you just like fill a fridge with crap and then carry it through the extraction. But uh, I actually don't think we're gonna do that. I don't like fridges in this game. I really prefer freezers in every single circumstance. And I know it's a lot easier to obtain a fridge and just drag it back and whatever, but I, I think we might skip straight to the freezer if we can. Uh, so we know that in the future, a electronics is gonna be a big priority to get the, the base power grid up and running. So why don't we sift through our books Good God, we have so many books. Yeah. 
So reading these books is going to be valuable for two reasons. Number one, obviously it reveals their recipes and what is in the book is the obvious like benefit of doing this. 203, so it takes about a minute to read each book here. But the other benefit is that it will color code them. So when we're on expedition and we find a book and we don't know what it is, or if we have a copy, now it will be color coded blue, yellow, purple, whatever, to show that we've already read the recipes, which will make looting a lot easier because we don't have to hesitate. Oh, do I have mechanical mastery? Do I have pitching a tent? We can just... uh quickly sift through man we have a lot of books and this is why people tell me like hey you should lower the item item spawns because when you can just do like one expedition and get like literally our last expedition we came back with like 14 different books i think that uh for some people that really takes the fun out of the game they're like well this is just now i have everything but uh for me i just like playing the vanilla experience and and going with it the way it is and and i enjoy having loot you know the world just ended in this game there would be a lot of loot laying around so why you know why change that in my opinion i mean obviously you're free to do whatever you want in your game but i'm just saying like for me i like playing vanilla all right so we don't have skills for a lot of these books which makes perfect sense because we have basically no skills so we're looking for an electronics book which i think we have at the very minimum what's a transistor yes so it looks like our current level is actually one but i'm guessing that's theoretical and that's why we can't craft using that we have an electronics of one at 99%, or I'm sorry, at zero at a 99%. Is that why I can't place the battery? Medium battery requires electronics one. Um, well, how can I quickly raise my electronics skill then? We would have to craft something. I don't really have materials to craft electronics. Let's go P colon, uh, basically uh, also, you know, again, I do like the little bit of tutorialization. Crafting menu is a pretty big daunting thing. A lot of new players don't know you can search this menu using a lot of functions. So if you hit the uh, forward slash key, it brings up the search window. And a lot of people are just like, oh, I'll search for a drill or whatever. But actually this huge display here explaining lots of the functionality, really valuable. So we're gonna hit P colon electronics, which is gonna show us any craft that uses the electronic skill as a primary um, skill for crafting. So we'll do that. And the only thing we can craft is an electric fire starter, which is an electronics of one, which would raise our skill enough to level up, but it would require us to use some of our wire and scrap metal. We did bring back wires, which are uh, probably shouldn't even be in this because it's just metal. Oh, well, no, it's just made from a battery. Well, what about this is a fire starter? It's just you're hammering scrap metal and wires. How does that make electric fire starting with, oh, it probably requires a battery, right? You load the battery, like you would load a tool, basically. You would just uh, plug in a battery and then the wires make a connection. So then it doesn't matter if it's copper wire or regular wire. Yeah, let's make this, um, should easily level us up to skill level one. So we'll do just the regular wire here. Going very slow, everything is lagging. Okay, does this take like a super long time? Was I not paying attention? Practical skill went up to level one. Okay, that was, that seemed weird. My game really hung up there. That's not great. Let's go upstairs. Let's place that battery immediately. Um, I mean, we can place it up here. Well, I don't know. Do they interact poorly with like rain and stuff? Probably not. Let's, let's, let's just grab the battery. We'll search for looking for medium and we'll clear that filter on this side and we'll transfer the medium storage battery, zero charge, we will grab that storage battery and we will place that inside just on the off chance that it actually interferes somehow with the, the rain or snow getting on the battery, like rim world, right? You have that, if you have a battery exposed to the elements, oh, it'll short out and whatever. So we'll place this battery and then we will, I suppose we will go grab our jumper cable and see if that will stretch all the way between, oh, we do have two jumper cables, that's good. We can connect other things if we have to. So let's activate a jumper cable. I've never used these before for this purpose. I've only ever used them on vehicles. So if we go to jumper cable, attach that to battery or appliance would be to the solar panel. And then if we go downstairs and we activate the jumper cable, attach loose end to other appliance, Connect it to the battery. That should now be hooked up. And unfortunately, because it's nighttime, we won't know this until tomorrow, unfortunately. And then if we, you know what? We can just do this right here instead of stretching all the way up there for right now. So let's just haul all this crap out of the way and then grab a battery charger. Uh, do, 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 do. No, that's the, not the tool pile. That's uh, 
Wait, why are there batteries on that pile? I thought batteries had, didn't we say they were tool magazines? Oh, it's showing items that are in other tools currently. No, I'm looking for a battery charger. That might be spare parts. Where, where are my battery chargers? Let's head up, search all tiles, search for battery, battery charger, grab that. And then we will go down and we will set this up as well. Battery charger. Oh, that's right. You have to craft something with it. Disconnected box battery charger. Okay. Uh, this might be an issue because we don't have a lot of wires and stuff. Uh, do, 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 disconnected. Let's search for that instead. Disconnected. And we're looking for box battery charger. Requires a firearm repair kit, gunsmith repair kit, integrated welder, portable soldering iron, or soldering iron. Yeah, we have none of those materials uh, and they're even in our tool pile. It also requires five solder which is uh something that i'm not sure how we get these days unless we craft it ourselves. or i you know i'm not sure i think when i first started playing the best way to get solder was to deconstruct other electronics because they had a small bit of retrievable solder i believe that has been removed as a feature from this game i'm not sure i remember people arguing about it i'm not sure if it was ever actually removed or not and then obviously you can find it in stores but that's pretty unlikely and not very common and then you can craft it but back in my day there was really not materials to craft it i know that's gotten better so probably we could craft it requires a fire oh it requires an anvil bro are you serious bro it's solder what are you talking about why would i need an anvil hammer cutting why would i need tool tongs and and swage and die set that's ludicrous i mean i guess to make it wire you need like a swage and die set to like force it to be wire? I have no idea why I would need these tools. Okay, swage and die set, uh, cooking material, but I don't understand that either. Why do I need a torch? Why do I need an acetylene torch if we were just, so one requirement is a stove of some kind, and then the second requirement is a stove of some kind. So I don't understand why you need two separate stove items that's strange and you need lead or bismuth tin powder and resin but the two stove requirements and the swage and die set seems strange to me but i'm gonna assume this is just one of those things where i don't know what i'm talking about and probably should shut up because people will tell me i'm i'm wrong and then we could make a soldering iron but we don't have the materials to do that we actually have most of this stuff i suppose we probably could craft this actually yeah i bet we could i bet we do have two electronic scraps that we could do that but that's not a problem for right now uh because we're not going to be able to do solder is is the issue and i have no idea what solder so solder is treated as spare parts. So if we did have any, it would be in this pile. I don't think we've seen any. Oh, good. We have 200 solder. So in the next episode, we will craft a soldering iron and try to get that battery charger put together. So that seems plausible. I'm not sure how long the soldering iron would take to make. Probably a long time, an hour. That's actually not terrible. We just have to check if we have another electronic scrap somewhere. And worst case, we can probably take apart a phone and get a little like electronic scrap or something. And then the duct tape, we're again, is a somewhat scarce supply for us right now, but it's at least something. So, all right, for now, I think we're going to call the episode. Didn't accomplish as much as I would like, but we do have the basis for our power system. That's pretty cool. And for now, everyone, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll be back, uh, hopefully in the near future with more content. So I'll see you next time.